candle over there. Okay. Okay, can I go ahead and start? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, Teresa, I want you to take a deep breath through your nose. And I want you to hold it for a second, just blow it up through your mouth really quick. This makes the energy come through the chakras and end up in the, the aura around you. And that energy is being used by other consciousness. Okay? Now you're glowing certain colors, which are base colors, plus that energy is going to be used by other, other um, life. Okay, you're glowing sort of a light white and lavender. White means you're literally trying to be a good person. White comes from you. It isn't necessarily a spiritual color. It comes from you. So you're being white. You're actually showing angel wings. There's a, a vortex of energy above the shoulders that starts bringing the energy and it puffs up over the shoulders and makes the impression of wings. This means you believe in angels or angel consciousness. You've been reaching out. The shape, the shape of those wings means something. They go cherub-like, which is a feminine energy. So you have feminine energy you are doing that. You're also making vocationally, you're making them more lavender than on this side, which means vocationally you're trying to bring something spiritual or, or higher consciousness into the work that you're doing as well. Okay? This which is, is, true. This this is why, you're, why you're making them purple. Okay. Now you're bringing in consciousness from the other side, uh, which we all should be doing. You're also bringing in um, humans. Okay. You're bringing in a master guide that seems to be Archangel Michael. He's a protective archangel, but he represents the virtues to someone whom he's connected with. You're actually connected with him. He's a seating archangel for you, a first father, so to speak, the template. This means things like truth, honor, integrity, valor, chivalry. King Arthur pulling the sword out of the stone will all apply to you and your relationships. If someone violates those in your life, they're violating the deep premise in you. Okay, so you need that chivalry in your life. Accurate. Okay? This is accurate. You're also showing signs of clairvoyance because you're showing your, your third eye. So you've had some sort of experiences. You probably see moving off to the side. Consciousness from the other side comes in at an angle to it. So that's normal. If you'll tell yourself you're seeing something, your subconscious will present it directly in front of you. You're bringing in the master guide, which is Kareen, Kareen. Um, so you're interested because he's taken on a, a, a Eastern philosophical bent. You're going to be somewhat interested in philosophies outside of the Western world. Yes. So the Eastern world, Buddhism, Hinduism, or some things, Tibetanism, Laoism, things from other realms you're interested in. And he's trying to help you expand um, your consciousness. You've had difficulty knowing what it is you wanted to tell the world, but you know you have this ability to express, okay? That's what this base energy around you, which is sort of a light blue, means. You're really trying to express yourself in life, and that's what you're doing. Um, your, your father and mother are both coming in. They don't have to be passed for someone who's psychic energy, by the way, okay? okay? When someone's psychic, they will bring them in automatically, but you're bringing in your mother a little bit stronger, okay? She seems to be wide-eyed and excited. I'm suspecting she didn't buy into all of this, right? No, but okay. she is a very strong Sagittarius. Because she's going like, oh my God, what yeah. are we doing? Okay. Yeah. But she actually, there's actually a sensation that we're connecting. Okay? Tremendous enthusiasm. And, and there was some sort of spiritual bond between the two of you because you're going, going purple when we talk about your mom. Yeah, okay? yeah. She yeah. really got this connection going she's on with her. She's my spiritual... She's indicating guide. something to me, though. She's indicating that you've actually had vision, not just pictures or images of people, but actually vision. You've actually seen something played out as if there were scenes of something. That's sort of a prophetic ability or um, seership, oh, I, which you have I, yes, also. Yes, this okay. was happening throughout childhood. Okay. That's true. Yeah. yeah that's true. Um, and also you've had thoughts of children, by the way. You're showing thoughts of children up there. And actually something more difficult related to children. I don't know if that was something about your childhood or difficult birth. But you're holding on to something in your aura about children that you're somewhat sensitive to. Yeah. Okay. Your father um, tried to be a good person, right? But did he have difficulty with it? Because he's putting a lot of effort into it. Okay. Um, he's making this white color we talked about. Okay. okay? Yeah. So yeah. the other was brought up very religious or, or, or some sort of indoctrination that made him try to be good. Okay. And he's actually proud of you because you're sort of doing the same thing. Oh, okay. Had you grown up in a religious background? Yeah, okay. we're very strong Irish okay. Catholics. So, so you don't mind if I bring in the Ascended Masters because you're bringing in some religious ones too. Okay. okay. You're bringing in Mother Mary. Okay. Oh, I love now, her. Mother Mary is a very compassionate Ascended Master, very high consciousness. Okay. She comes in in a pink color. You're half pink around you, but you're sort of hiding it. Okay. This means you were shy when you were younger. Okay? And you've had to learn to be very verbal in life, and which is how you've compensated for it. And you will be driven in life to help people with those things that you thought nobody understood about you when you were younger. This often applies to your family, your mother and father. There will be things you felt they didn't understand, and those are the kind of things you're going to want to share with other people. But in essence, you wanted to be yourself. Yeah. And as a child, you didn't really get to be yourself. Okay? And that's what you're sensitive to. That's why the compassion color pink. When you're compassionate or want to be understood and nobody's responding to that, 
like in growing up, then Mother Mary comes in to do that for you. And so she puts an arm around you and reaches you at a higher realm, and you feel that effect trickling down to you, but you feel better after a while, yes. because an ascended master helped you in that regard. Beautiful. Now you bring in Jesus, but I tell you, Jesus always comes in a little uh, unusual from other people. The head is kind of squarish on the top, and a little bit squarish on the side. So where ours are more, mostly rounded, yes. okay? That's how we always know it's him. It comes a little square. Yes. There's a level at which people stand on the other side, too. And because he's coming in right up here, like a foot and a half above you, he looks at you glowing pink and purple and white. Okay, comes up there. That's how we know that it's ascended master. Ascended masters come in there. Right. Archangels come in even higher. This is where Archangel Michael's coming in up there. With Archangel Michael, we tend to see this big whitish glow or sometimes oranges. That's called a Hamas. In Christianity, in the books, they, they paint this halo around people, right? It's all the way around them like a plate. Okay, that's a Hamas or Tahas. And that's what people see most because our Archangel Michael glows very white up around here. Okay, mm -hmm. but you're bringing all those figures in. You're, you're in your private side of life, okay? You actually want that to be more artistic and expressive also. You're looking for ways to have ambience or expression of you. You want it to come out of you, okay? And, and you want the world life. to represent you. You don't want to fit into the rest of the world. This is okay, true. that's work, okay? Yeah. But you want that, and you actually would like to bring that into your work also. Yeah, okay? I would. I okay. Would. You're, you're trying to draw people to you who, let's call them a choir. You seem to want to be drawing people to you that resonate with the kind of things that you resonate with, okay? And you seem to have made this determination that that's what you want in life. And you're gonna succeed at that because you've decided that's what you want. You're literally manifesting. That white color we mentioned, you're bringing that into everything, which means you want goodness to show up everywhere. Mm -hmm. You want people to treat you well, you want to meet good people, you want good circumstances, but you're demanding it, so to speak. Yes. You're literally doing that, yes. okay? I want to see if you have nature people around you. I have to look around the neck, okay? This is hard to teach people. We have to teach them to see other energies and even life on the other side first. But you actually have gnomes on you, and cameras can sometimes pick it up. Because your angel wings are glowing so bright, we can see the outline of little people coming up to about this high on each side of your shoulders. So from, and from this angle, I can see the outline of little people. It's hard for people to accept that they're nature people, yes. but they built the world. They are the creatures of form. There wouldn't be atoms and molecules and all that if nature people didn't bring them together. But they are the ones that are building that health aura all around your body. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps you alive and healthy. Yes. Okay? Okay. And so they love you and they try to bring out that inner child in you. And people who want wellness will usually be drawn to nature people, fairies, gnomes, leprechauns, elves because they bring out the real person in you, and you want to express it, okay? Playful. The way we know is you'll often find like copper pennies around all the time. I They're do. always leaving copper pennies I around. Yeah. That's because they prize copper. You know, they made that metal, okay. and so they're trying to give it to you. So whenever you see a penny, you should yeah. pick it up. Okay. But when you go someplace like a restaurant or a gas station and there is no penny around, leave one. Oh, give it back okay. to the notes, and that way you're giving it. And it's Beautiful. a full circle thing. Beautiful. I Thank love you. it. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Namaste. Thank Namaste. you. Okay. Thank you. Wow, Thank you. I'm just like glowing. I'm just, <laughs> you are glowing. I'm like, you're literally I'm glowing. Like, <laughs> I'm like, it's better than anything. Yeah, you really make, you really make like, a nice purple color. Yeah.